Your website needs a TikTok feed, and it's probably not for some of the reasons that you think. TikTok isn't just a platform for dance trends and funny cat videos anymore. Although I do love a funny cat video. Today, I'm going to tell you exactly why you need a TikTok feed on your website, and I'm also going to show you how to add one. To start with, let's talk about SEO. This is search engine optimization. This is how your website is going to get found. Now, how are we going to use a TikTok feed in order to benefit your SEO? Firstly, search engines love fresh engaging content. The more of that you have, the more likely they are to suggest you. And TikTok videos, TikTok feeds are perfect for this because they're constantly serving up new and engaging content to your audience, to the people who visited your website. Search engines also love user engagement and dwell time. So the more people interact with your website and the longer they stay on it, the more a search engine goes, oh, that website's really great, that person really likes it, the more likely the search engine is to recommend you to more people. All the time, we're just bumping you up those Google search rankings. So, what's a TikTok feed gonna do? It's gonna do exactly that. We've all sat there for, let's be honest, a bit too long on TikTok, just scrolling because it's just so engaging. The dwell time is going to go through the roof and by scrolling, clicking through various videos, you've also got really great engagement. And finally for SEO in this section, we are gonna talk about keywords and hashtags, which is the bit you maybe haven't considered. By introducing TikTok videos into your website, you're actually introducing those keywords and those hashtags, which means that on search engines, you're more likely to rank for those particular search terms. So you're both expanding the search terms that you can rank for and reinforcing the search terms that you're already ranking for. It's wins all around. Next up, I wanna talk about diversity, and I mean diversity of content. Of course, TikTok basically covers everything you can possibly think of and by embedding some of this into your website, you are engaging or allowing your audience to engage with a whole range of content. It means that your content or your page is more diverse, it's more likely to appeal to a wider audience and you are more likely to get that dwell time. You're more likely to be engaging. And while I said earlier we would talk about SEO, this is of course SEO related as well because we're talking about engagement and we're talking about dwell time. It's all positive for your website. Now I want to talk about social proof. The idea of social proof in a nutshell is that people trust other people. So if you see certain people doing something, you're more likely to take that action or you're more likely to trust what is going on. And TikTok is full of social proof because it is a well-respected, well-known app. By simply having a TikTok feed in your web page, you're essentially generating social proof immediately. You can even start to generate a sense of community around your page and user-generated content is just super influential. This is all really, really positive. If you want to know more about Social Proof and our favorite Social Proof apps, then click the video that I will link at the end of this one. TikTok can also be a really great way to expand your reach. There's almost 2 billion people using TikTok, so obviously being able to tap into even a small portion of that can be really, really beneficial to you reaching a wider audience. And of course, putting that directly onto your website, it seems like a no-brainer when there's potentially 2 billion people sitting waiting there. And with those 2 billion people that we have waiting, you can also do some really great cross-promotion. In the simplest terms, if you have your TikTok on your website and people see that, they're more likely to go across and follow you on TikTok itself. You're expanding your brand, you're expanding your reach, there's really no downside here. Of course, it's also one thing to have your TikTok feed on your website or a TikTok feed on your website. You also want it to look great. 
And there's certain apps, which I will get into in a second, that are going to allow you to do that. So you've essentially taken what could potentially be a maybe slightly boring or maybe not very interesting web page, something that needs an element of interaction. And by simply embedding a TikTok feed, you've immediately created that. This is, of course, helpful with you trying to look relevant or stay relevant. TikTok really is kind of on the cutting edge of what is trending. That's the whole point, right? You have trending themes, trending topics within TikTok. And by you using those and showcasing them on your website, you are also showcasing to potential customers or just website visitors that you are relevant and you are a company that people should also follow. I also mentioned products right there. And if you're showcasing your own products in demos or maybe how-to guides on TikTok and then embedding that in your web page, that's a win on so many levels. We're right back to engagement. We're right back to people spending more time on your website, boosting your SEO and you're being helpful to your, cons your consumer, giving them a better experience, building more trust, having all of that social proof. It's, it all comes together really nicely and just simple little things can affect so many different elements of your website. Although don't forget what we spoke about first with the SEO. That can be huge for just simply expanding your reach and getting you to rank higher. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how you can get a TikTok feed onto your website nice and easily. And we're gonna be using this plugin. We're gonna be using Smash Balloon TikTok Feeds Pro. Now, Smash Balloon works with basically all of your different social media. And if you want to see a video on how to use it for Facebook, then do get subscribed. That's coming very soon. And once it's on the channel, I will link it at the end of this one so that you can click and go straight through. Once you have done this, if you feel like the TikTok Feed Pro is something that you want to check out, then definitely check out the link down in the top in comment and in the description where we will be able to offer you a massive discount. You can see just here the huge discount that you're going to be able to get 50% off. So let's get TikTok Feeds Pro installed onto my website. Nice and easy. I'm going to activate the plugin. Okay, you can see down here on the left in my sidebar that I've actually already used the YouTube and Facebook feeds for Smash Balloon. And today we're gonna to use TikTok feeds. So let's click into that. So from here, you can see Smash Balloon is giving you the option to create a feed, which is exactly what we want to do. And we're just gonna click on add new. From here, you can see you obviously need to add a source. So let's just go ahead and do that. So once you've continued, you've logged into your TikTok account. You can see here that we can now access TikTok using Smash Balloon. You just have to approve the permissions, basically. So we see here we have the relevant TikTok account. So let's just select that and go to next. And then we can select a template. How do we want this to look? I'm going to go for the showcase, oh, sorry, just the regular carousel over here. The showcase carousel just shows one big one you can scroll through. I like the actual carousel. So we're going to do that and hit next. So you can immediately see the preview. So this is what our carousel is going to look like. So we've got all of our videos in there and it's naturally just going to scroll through them. And there's even a follow button that we can put in there. Now, there's a whole host of options here that you can adjust and change. So the template, you can see we have the carousel originally. If we do change that to the showcase carousel that I mentioned, you can see that you now have the one showcase and it goes through. We'll change that again. Let's have a look at just the default one. And there you have all of your TikToks or a lot of your TikToks just there. And you can just keep hitting load more to show more and more on your page. Okay, now we have created our TikTok feed that we can add. We can go ahead and see what it's going to look like in different formats, like so. And then we're just going to come up here. I'm just going to grab the embed code, which is this one here. Uh, so we can do that or I can use the built-in block or widget. So I'm going to add it to a page by just clicking here. I'm immediately going to add it to my home page and click add. And then if we head onto our website and actually have a look at it, this is my home page where I've just added my uh, TikTok feed and we scroll down to where it was. Here it is, feature products. And there we have it. So we have 
my TikTok feed present. So you can click on any of these buttons. Obviously, the more engaging and interesting your videos are, the more likely people are to pick up, uh, to click on them. So let's click on this one and immediately you see it's the pop-up. This is what does it for me. This is removing all distractions and it's giving you an amazing look at the TikTok in the format it's supposed to be. This is going to keep people on your website. You can see the hashtags that are in there. And then obviously the more information you put in here, the more likely your uh, search engines are gonna pick up on it and the more improved your SEO is going to be. And then we can just click through and we can start to see all of the TikToks that are associated with this particular page, this gadgets page. So there we go, another unboxing through again. This is really fantastic. And you can see how you're just drawing people's attention to all of your content. And as I say, just dominating your SEO. So you can see just how easy it is to add a TikTok feed to your website using Smash Balloon. And if you wanna know how to add a YouTube feed to your website so you can embed all of your long form or short form YouTube content, then click this video right here.